Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much, welcome back. It is a rainy Sunday, my favorite kind of day. Honestly, I love rainy Sundays. So it's a rainy Sunday out today, and I have been up, I got up early this morning, because tomorrow, um, with one of my real estate companies, we're doing Toys for Tots. So I was fixing everything up, all the toys, to get them bagged, to go over there with them. And um, then did a few things around the house. I said, let me do my empties while it's a rainy Sunday because the rest of the week is crazy. So I have two videos today. I have my empties and I have one other video to do. And I just wanted to pop in and say hello. So get yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, glass of wine, because this might take a while. I'm combining my Scentsy and my Vendor Wax. And I will do, as always, my Scentsy first. Um... But I have a lot, so um, I'll try to go as fast as I can. I know some people, I love long, empty videos. I think most I, I see commenting on other videos say the same, but I'm not going to keep you long. So, all right, this is my Scentsy empty basket minus two bricks that I had to pull out or it would have all, it was all falling out. So I'm going to start with... Um, non-wax first i finished up for semper his best bud suds pet shampoo in tea tree and peppermint we don't have the pet line anymore but it could pop up in clearance and stuff and i like the peppermint because and i wash him with this all summer because peppermint it says keeps ticks away so um that's why i use peppermint and he doesn't get ticks i also have a, the peppermint spray and i have two of them because i got them in clearance so before i go out with him on summer days not anymore now i always spray him down first so we love it smells delicious right now i have him i started aloe and something a different one aloe and shea i think it is i love our pet products sad they took them away but maybe they weren't selling i don't know then I got done, I replaced a flower, and the flower was Blue Grotto, and I had colored it a little in blue and green. It was from the summer, so they really last a long time for me. I always have three going in my three different bathrooms. That's where I put them, and I put in Winterberry Apple Tea, so that's what I replaced it with, and unfortunately, this went before I had gotten my holiday flowers and the fall ones because we kept missing out on them they were selling out just got those two weeks ago but i had already changed my flower out so now i keep going in my other bathrooms like come on hurry up die out die out because i'm so excited to try the cranberry candy cane is that what they are cranberry buttercream cranberry candy cane i forget but i got three of them and um yeah, I can't wait to try them. I was going to say something else. I forgot what I was just going to, I was just thinking. All right, let's keep rolling. So there's a flat. I have my recycling here. Then I, I got with host credits, the fall into love laundry bundle. So I got done with one of the whiffs. I still have another whiff and the laundry detergent because I'm still using another laundry detergent. I'm always like mixing it up. This was, guys, this was absolutely so, so good. If I see this in clearance or I have a party closeout and I, it's a pretty big party. So I've been waiting because I have host credits and three, up, right now up to three half prices. So I might grab a bundle with the half price of another. If this is still available, I don't know. All right, then I, I don't want to do wax yet. Um, all right. Icicles and Evergreen Scent Circle. So I just took this out of my kitchen garbage. I know everyone's complaining about the scent circles and I absolutely get it. Same here. But the Icicles and Evergreen does work in my kitchen garbage for weeks. Every time I walk in my kitchen, I smell it with the can closed. And um, But I understand I'm not buying scent circles either. Um, if I see the Icicles and Evergreen on sale and clearance, I will. But um, I think they're $3, so yeah. Um, but right now I have Maple Vanilla Glaze, and this is the 3D one. And I was saying 
in my last haul video of Scentsy when I did Scentsy Sunday. The 3D ones work so much better, like the Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin one in the 3D works great. But if it's not Icicles and Evergreen, I'm not getting it. But that this one does work good, but I'm not buying them either. Unless it's in a clearance or something. Then um, I pulled two scent packs out of my linen closet. This one is Autumn Road Trip. And this was good. And Satin Sheets, I think this one is. Yeah, Satin Sheets. So Autumn Road Trip and Satin Sheets came out. They did very good. I had both of them in there. And I used the Apple Cherry Strudel that I put in my uh, club when I did my Scentsy Sunday. Again, I grabbed Apple Cherry Strudel in there because I was so low on scent packs. But now I got the party and I got a lot now. So I'm stocked back up. Um, pods. Right now in my laundry area, I have pink haze going and I just went down there because I'm doing laundry. It is two weeks. It is still, I'm not going to say going strong, but definitely not ready to change out yet. And I took out probably toasted acorn and oak because I got these. Yep. Toasted acorn and oak. I They were in clearance last year and I think I bought 10 of them because I love the scent so much in the wax. I think I have like three or four left, but toasted acorn and oak. I'm um, trying to use these up. Then in my game room where I have the plug-in wall diffuser, I put in vanilla bourbon and I took out vanilla mint is this one? No, Bonfire Beach. So I took Bonfire Beach out and I have vanilla bourbon in there. I'll tell you the pink haze, I smell a lot more than the vanilla bourbon, but the game room is a much bigger room. The laundry area is smaller and maybe because I have my on the go on top of the dryer because it's plugged in there, maybe the heat from the dryer coming up makes it even stronger. I always feel like I could smell the laundry room ones better than the game room, but I think that's just because it's in an, so open in there. So, but so I could still smell them, but not like the laundry area. And um, so that is it for non-wax with Scentsy. Now let's get into wax. I'm gonna do first what's not available, okay? So let's do that. Um, Woodland Suede um, on 1120. I'm gonna, oh, I'm also doing Melting Challenge. So some things Melting Challenge, Patricia Gates, her Melting Challenge that I'm in. So I'm not in order. It's not in numerical order as to the dates. The last time I left off was the, was the 20th of November that I did. So I'm up to that up till today, the 3rd. So some things are going to be in here. Some things are going to be in my vendor because some prompts I don't have. We don't have that in a Sensi. You'll see when I go along. So 1128 was Melt a Musky, right? Here's my seat. Uh, musky or manly. I did woodland suede. It's red oak, smoky cedar, musk, and winter lemon. I love this. It's in my club. It was a bring back my bar. So woodland suede was that day. Again, I'm not in order. The 22nd was associated. You associate it with Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> Holiday memories. Hollywood, where, where, what, who am I? Holiday memories on the 22nd. So I did maraschino sugar cookie because my grandmother loved these. And where I grew up in Little Italy, every bakery had maraschino, the maraschino sugar cookies. I never would eat them. I don't like maraschino cherries. I don't even like it. Like as a kid growing up, we would get Shirley Temples when we went to a restaurant, my brother and I. But I always said, do not put the cherry in mine. Like, I just don't didn't like it, but I love the smell of it. So maraschino sugar cookie is sugar cookie dough baked with vanilla drizzle in a sweet maraschino cherry glaze. All right. Even opening it. I still have half a brick left of it, and thank God I put it in my quarterly. I should have really put it in my monthly. I love it so much. Um, I, I just cannot believe they didn't bring this this year into the catalog. We had it as the brick for the holiday, but it never went into the catalog. And I don't understand. I don't understand why they bring certain scents bakery back, 
but this one that was a great seller and I didn't hear anyone that didn't love it. So thank God I have it in my quarterly. If it came back, I'd put it in my monthly. I absolutely love Maraschino Sugar Cookie. Great performer. Love it so much. Hemingway was a bring back my bar. I'm, I'm trying to pick the ones we don't have in the catalog. Hemingway is rich, ripe apple and warm, woody accents, sandalwood, cedar, and spice. This is also in my club. I absolutely love it. I love it in the bedrooms. That's where I love Hemingway. I don't know if I'd do it in open concept. It would go in open concept. It's strong enough, but I don't know if I want that punching me in the face all day. Um, then on... The 1st of December, it was starts with the letter R or the letter P for, for Rosa Park Day. I'm sorry, guys. History was not my thing in school. I'll say it. I didn't know who Rosa Park was, so I had to Google it. So I Googled Rosa Park. I read all about her the night before because I wanted to know. And um, it's if you want to, you could Google it. She was like an activist. And we're not. Uh, so I did Polar Bear Hug. So Polar Bear Hug starts with the P for my Rosa Park Day. I might have even done another one that day. And Polar Bear Hug is blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, amber, vanilla and amber. So this is, always goes back into my club at the end of the season. This is available. Not available. It was from our Harvest Collection 22, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maple Rum Cake. Let me tell you, okay, so wait, let me start with maple rum cake, buttered rum, cinnamon, sugar, vanilla, frosting, and maple. I liked it so much better. Now, so this has been sitting this bar. I didn't like it last year. Not that I, I hated it, but it wasn't a favorite and I didn't put it in my club. This performed so, so good. And I did it in my game room, so I have four warmers in there. So I used the whole bar and I always do I always use a whole bar to I do two cubes into each four warmers I kept walking in and out of there that day going I can't believe how much I'm loving this I didn't last year when a bar sits man does it change so yeah if I saw this in clearance I would absolutely grab a bunch of bars another bring back my bar but this was a long time ago zeppelin so I have been sitting on this so long. God, I started in Scentsy in, I started Scentsy buying in 2018. It might have even been in a bring back my bar as I, when I was a customer, I don't know. Started in 2018, then um, in January, you know, my last video, I said it's going to be three years in January. It's going to be four. My daughter and I both started in 2020 as consultants. So Zeppelin... It was strong for four hours, I wrote, and it's not a love. I did not like the scent. I, I mean, it wasn't like, oh my God, get it out of my warmers. I hate it, but I wasn't crazy about it. And it's citrus, sage, sandalwood, and vetiver. Don't know what it was with it because I do like citrus scents. I love, there's scents with sage. I love sandalwood, vetiver. I don't know if it was a, a, an oil, a different, maybe the vetiver oil, maybe it's a different oil than other oils I've had, or was the sage different? Whatever it was, I didn't like this at all. Like I wouldn't, even if I saw it in clearance, I'm happy I tried it finally because it's been in my draw for years, but I just didn't like the scent. Then um, another one was a bring back my bar, not available is cucumber lime. And, um, this is ripe cucumbers, tangy limes, and green leafy mint. I think the only other one I know, this is so good. It's in my club. And I think the only other one I know that likes this, like mint fields, is Brett. So Brett and I are the only two that like mint fields that I know of. Have you had mint fields? Do you like it? I don't ever see anyone else clubbing it or talking about it like we do. But cucumber lime is in my club. It will never leave. It is a scent like no other that I have. So I love having this in my collection. On a day 
And again, this isn't when I do an open concept. I like it in my bedrooms or in a bathroom. But I love this on a day where I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like bakery. I don't feel like woodsy. I don't feel like earthy. What do I want? Cucumber, lime, mint fields are the ones I go for. So I love this so, so much. Um, okay. Icicles and Evergreen is going right now in my house because today's the third. So today is Evergreen Day. We actually had evergreen in november and in december because and I, so you're gonna see a lot of evergreen but i warm i've been loving evergreen and blue spruce and pine scents that is like my jam right now but yeah we did also did evergreen on the 29th it was if your tree is up melt evergreen if it's not up melt pumpkin well my tree is up but not decorated but not really even up it's still downstairs in my basement waiting for the, one of my daughter's boyfriend or my son to stop here and just carry it up the stairs for me so I feel like I'm in between but um so you're gonna see a lot of evergreen icicles and evergreen this is probably in my top five if not my number one set favorite set ever and this is cool blue eucalyptus pine needles iced with crystallized sugar so how funny is that, that it's called icicles and evergreen and there's not an evergreen note. It's pine needles, eucalyptus, sugar. Um, I guess it's like sweet plum pastry. There's no pastry in the notes, nor does it smell anything like pastry. But with that said, icicles and evergreen gives me life. It's my kid's favorite. We had my daughter's boyfriend's 30th birthday. So I took a brick to her house. I have so many bricks of it. I bought a bunch of bricks at the end of the season. And then Etta called me one day. It was in March. I was outside doing yard work. Or she texts me or PM me on Facebook saying, hey, heads up. Caramel chestnut and icicles and evergreen bricks are on sale and clearance. So I stopped my yard work. I ran in and I got more. So I have probably four bricks of it. And I don't care. Um, but we did it in my for my daughter's boyfriend's birthday at his house. Because it was a western theme party. so And it was outside. We had the whole backyard tented in. So I thought Icicles and Evergreen would go good with that. Not one person walked in and wasn't like, what am I smelling? Everyone loved it. I love Icicles and Evergreen on its own. And I also like mixing it, which you'll see I did mix it. Um, today that's going today. This was well, I wrote the third, but this could have been the other week because when I sat and went through these, I was writing dates on them anyway. On its own, mixed with bakery, absolute favorite of mine. Don't know why this isn't in the catalogs. I know a lot of people like really liked it last year. I don't know, maybe not, maybe just people I watched, maybe there were it didn't sell, but it is what it is. All right, then, um. Sweet Orange and Evergreen. I was just watching Elizabeth with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, and I commented, this is also, will never leave my club either. We both love it, and this, it, I'm so happy it's in my club. And it is Fresh Cut Evergreen. See more Evergreen? But this is called a Sweet Orange and Evergreen. It has Evergreen in it. Fresh Cut Evergreen, Sweet Orange and Warm Cedarwood. This is... This is, now this, it could, just like Icicles and Evergreen, like right now, it's all over my open concept, Icicles and Evergreen mixed with a couple other things that we'll talk about when I get to that. But Sweet Orange and Evergreen, if you ever see this in a clearance, I highly suggest to get it. Get it and put it away for next winter or whatever, but this is just so good. All right, um... Okay, White Pumpkin and Driftwood is in our Harvest Collection. And it is Crisp White Pumpkin and Driftwood, burnished by white cardamom and warm solar amber. In my club, I put it, I put it now in my quarterly. It went from my monthly into my quarterly, or I might have a monthly and quarterly right now. A lot of bars that are in my monthly because I keep running out of them. 
I also threw my quarterly so that when I X them out of monthly, they're still in my quarterly. And sometimes I miss cutoffs. I miss, I'm like, what do you mean they took that bar away? So this isn't in the catalog, but it's part of the Harvest Collection, which means it could be gone tomorrow. If it sells out, they're not restocking it. So I, I, I definitely have it in quarterly right now. I can't remember, but uh, Robin from Northern Lights did a blend and I wrote it down. I started my wax diary that my cousin Maria got me for my birthday. And now when I watch people and they do blends, I go right to, if if I'm not driving or outside doing yard work or walking some, I go right to my wax diary. So I actually want to do a blend and I can't remember what she blended it with. Fall in love maybe? Falling, I think fall in love she blended, but I want to try this blend she did because she loved it and I want to try it. So that's that. Um, I know this isn't a love for a lot, but I actually think it works pretty good. The Palo Santo Plain last year we got was, yeah, no, what is this? It's just, it's horrible. But the Palo Santo and cinnamon, I'm, I'm really liking it. And right now, today, I had a few cubes left in here and I scattered it in a couple warmers that I needed some cubes in. And I, I put some I put with the icicles and evergreen and different ones that are going today. And, um, and I like it, and it's in my club. So they label this as Palo Italian Bergamot and Clove and Cinnamon. Not big on Clove, not big on Cinnamon, but I'm liking the Palo and Cinnamon. I don't know, maybe a few more bars, and then I'll take it out of my club. Like, if something had to go, that would be the first one to go. And I have been, I keep cutting my club down, but then I keep adding in it of ones I haven't tried that I'm seeing people love, like from the, the sensationals or the like ones that are in the catalog now. So I'll take a few out. Say I take three out. I'm putting six in the next day. I, it's out of control. Um, frosty air. Love, love, love. I warm this for the first time in my game room. Again, same thing. Two cubes to the four warmers. So the whole, the whole one. This is so good. I immediately, I waited. I gave it till the end of the day. Let me see how long it lasts. Do I, am I going to still love it tonight like I love it this morning? And I did. All day, night, woke up the next morning. I could still smell it. I'm like, I got, I need, I need more of this for the winter. So this is one of our new releases, I believe. Yes. So it is Sweet Citrus. Lily of the Valley. Stay fresh in a flurry of frosty air. This is you could smell that frosty air come out. It is fabulous. This was a great, great day. So it's in my monthly. You're going to you're gonna see it in my monthly club when I get it because I got more coming. Frosted Vanilla. So last year, this was, I think this was one of our new releases last year. Not many talked about it. And a couple of people that I said I love it didn't. But I'm like, no, I love it. And I still love it. So Frosted Vanilla is available. It's Sweet Vanilla Bean Birch Bark with Rush of Frosty Air. Another one. Just like the Frosty Air that I just did. And I think I did Frosted Cedar too. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I still have a few cubes left. I'm loving these Frosty scents. I really am. Just loving them. So frosted vanilla. I love it. I actually just got it in the pods in my um, Scentsy party I closed out. If you watched my Scentsy Sunday video, I did a week or a week ago, is it now? I don't know. I think a week ago. I got it in the pods. One more Scentsy. Guys, I am loving this. It is mint to the merry. Was this our November scent of the month? I think... Our November, correct me if I'm wrong, it is available and I am in love. I'm like, I want that in a brick. Oh my God, Sensi, make this in a brick for next year holiday. I'm watching every video I'm watching. Everybody is loving it. I watched Susan Fitzpatrick. She loved it. Um, um, I think Elizabeth Scenes and Sense I watched today. She loved it. Um, I think Brett tried it and loved it. Like, I haven't seen a video where anyone has said anything now. I don't know yet how it will do in my open concept. So I did this bar and this I did in the bedrooms and it went all day. Absolutely beautiful. 
I got a couple more bars coming and I want to try it in my open concept and I'm hoping I get a throw because this is a medium. I'm going to give it on a scale of one to 10, a six and a half in throw, but the, the scent you get, you don't even care. I don't need it to be a powerhouse. I loved it. The scent notes to this are crushed candy canes, sugar, creamy butter cookies, and loved it. And this cannot be the end because I had, here we go. I knew I had more. All right. Meant to be merry. Love. I have more. I have another whole bar and I have more on the way. I knew I had more, more here. Okay. On the 2nd, December 2nd, something that reminds you of holiday decorating. So I did silver bells because I needed to, I have so many bars of this because it, it was in my club all through the spring, summer when it went away last year. I'm like, I got to start warming that. So I thought this is a good one because the scent notes are mint candy canes, winter pear over caramel and vanilla sugar. So because of the candy canes, holiday decorating, you know, you put candy canes on your tree. And so silver bells is available. Love it. Okay, then... On the 20th, remind you of being a kid. Well, when I was a kid, I loved Dumbo. I had the stuffed Dumbo on my bed. I still love Dumbo. There's something about Dumbo. He's just like a gentle soul to me. And Dumbo was always my favorite. I was a big stuffed animal person or any of that, but I love my Dumbo. So I have Dumbo in my club, right? Well, I just put it back in because because I ran out. And the only reason I get Dumbo isn't because I love Dumbo. It's because I love Dumbo as a blender. And Dumbo is sweet clementine, creamy peach, fresh mango, and vanilla bean. I love to mix this with bakery. It is a, I've been doing it for like two years now. I always use my Dumbo with bakery. This time, the day it was melt something, remind you of being a kid, and I did Dumbo in the bedrooms, I b did a, a cube and a cube of salted caramel toffee with it. So I mixed Dumbo and salted caramel toffee, like a 10. That's, I loved it so much. So again, I loved it so much. I ran and I looked. I have one bar of Dumbo left, so I ran into my club and I added more dum more Dumbo because I'm like, I can't be without this Dumbo because I love the blending it. On its own, it's a little too citrusy for me, but blended, love it. 27 minutes in. Okay. Finished two bricks. Now, I, my last empties, I totally forgot because I had it to the side because there were still some cubes, but now if we had a family a family favorite day in November. And um, when I was done doing my video and I went into back into the game room to put the baskets back under the table, my Sensi basket and my vendor basket, this was on top of the table because I didn't finish it yet, but I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot. Anyway, on family favorite day, I did icicles and evergreen, more icicles and evergreen. I have three, like I said, three or four more whole bricks of it and I'm not sorry. I mixed it with sugar cookie. Um, finished that. So I finished two bricks. I'm done with sugar cookie. I am not getting it anymore. I don't smell anything. I have other bakeries I love a lot better than this. And I just don't get anything. And I've tried sugar cookie in the brick and in bars several times because I do see people that love like, I'm, all right, I'm missing it. Let me, let me get it again. And then I get it again. Let me let it sit. Well, this is sitting now for like a year and zero, which is fine. Fine. Fine with me. There's plenty of other stuff I love of Scentsy's. Okay, guys, if you're here for Scentsy, that was it. I'm going to start on some candles and non-wax stuff. Um, if you want to hang out with me, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Thank you. Sorry. I don't like to do that while I'm filming, but I need a sip of coffee. Um, all right, so now I'm going to start on other stuff. I finished at my kitchen sink, eucalyptus spearmint. So as the seasons change, I always change out the hand soaps in the bathrooms and in the kitchen. This I started last year 
the holidays, but then it went into spring and it was still like half full. And I want, I didn't want this. I wanted a spring, summer hand soaps around. So I have hand soaps open everywhere. Um, but eucalyptus spearmint would definitely get it again. I love it in everything, everything. Then uh, wallflowers. So I replaced some wallflowers. I have eucalyptus rain going in my kid's bathroom. Fresh balsam going in my dining room. And strawberry pound cake going in my kitchen. All three of them are fabulous. Fabulous. Love, love, love. Um, who went in on candle day this weekend? Is today the last day? I have been good. I have a cart going, but I'm not checking out. Every time I go look, I go into my candle cabinets and I keep opening them like no way do you need candles I have enough for the next two falls and winters but I'm hoping I'm waiting for wallflowers to go on sale um and they're not a good deal when I looked yesterday they were five for 27 dollars that's not a good deal I, I am gonna need wallflowers I'm running low again so if those happen to go on sale today if I get that text and it, they add wallflowers at a good deal I might check out with I want that raspberry uh, jam thumbprint is it called don't quote me I know uh, Jason was um, took a picture and sent it and it sounds so good I love raspberry um, and there's two others I there's a chocolate one even though I'm not is it chocolate macadamia or something I got that one in my cart um, but I'm not checking out unless and you want to know another thing I was thinking all right ten dollars great deal but throughout the year they have sales for $12.95 and I have a 25% off coupon and I get them for that price anyway, so I don't feel like I'm missing out. Like, it's just not meant to be unless they put wallflowers on sale. All right, then we're going to go to, I'm going to go to candles. I'm just going to grab my favorite leaves. It's crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove, spice. So finished leaves. I love this packaging. Burned it. Look how clean. And then it went into my crock immaculate smelled I mean it's leaves I have two more backups of this that's why I don't need candles cranberry woods which is tart cranberry cinnamon bark forest cedar and golden amber Thanksgiving uh, Patricia's prompt was to melt cranberry so I had this halfway done from last year in the fall so I pulled this out I burned it Thanksgiving day and then I took the rest and put it in the crock and let it live out its life in there beautiful look at it how clean so I finished this on Thanksgiving pumpkin carving now they don't have the notes on pumpkin carving it's a single wick I do single wicks I have a small guest bathroom by the game room and that's where I do them and it literally scents up that whole area. And I feel like pumpkin carving might be fresh pumpkin with a bakery. Cinnamon. It's like pumpkin and cinnamon. I could be wrong. I should have looked up the notes. Sorry, I didn't. So this too burned. And then I put this in the crock. Loved it. You know what I have under my candle lamp right now? It's candy cane cheesecake. It's Kringle from two years ago from the country uh one's the country candle and that's what i have going in my uh my candle lamp behind me there that my friend cindy got me and it smells really good when i was burning on cold i'm like i smell like that's why i didn't burn it last year because on cold i smelled licorice but on when you're burning it i don't get licorice at all i get a creamy candy cane cheesecake i don't know why on cold i get licorice all right keep going um, another candle. Oh, I finished a Palo Santo. And this is Palo Santo Wood Warm Amber Soft Musk. Same thing. Burned beautifully. And if you see that one wick, that's probably my fault. Probably from when I put it out and then it went in the crock. Beautiful. Love it. I have backups of Palo. Okay. Only other candle I'm going to talk about. I grabbed this before I sat down is homework sea salt and lavender because I'm going to finish it. I've been burning this forever and I put it away, pull it back out, put it away, but I'm not putting this away till I finish it. So I'm like, let me do this now. So when I'm done, I can freeze it because I need, I need these jars. So it's burning. Absolutely beautiful. 
I have definitely have one back up, might have two. I loved it so, so much that he had a sale a year ago and I grabbed two or three more. Can't remember, but I have backups. When I burned this, I had it all last week on my kitchen, not kitchen, on my dining room table at night. Like when my wax starts to die out at night, I'm not changing out my wax because I'm going to be going to bed soon, you know, within the next two, three hours. So I'm not doing that. I light a candle in my kitchen and a candle in on the dining room table. They're across from each other. When you do sea salt and lavender, the whole house, you smell it through the whole house. I don't get it. Why can't all his candles be this way? I either don't smell it at all or it does my whole house like his vanilla balsam one, which I have a bunch and I want to start getting to that. But I'm going to finish this this week. Sea salt and lavender. It's almost done. Really did burn beautifully. If you see a little bit of mess in there, it's probably my fault from shaking the table or something while it was burning. But this is, if you see sea salt and lavender, highly suggest it. Highly suggest it. Um, all right, let's just start rolling. I'm just going to start pulling things out. I'm just going to go to today right now be first because that's what's sitting here because I didn't want to mix it in. So when I had said I had the Palo Santo and cinnamon, a few cubes left that I spread out to cover up, cover all my warmers throughout everywhere. Um, I also use K's Palo and I used two today. This is what I have going. It is magical. Her blue spruce, I did two clams of her blue spruce. It's evergreen, spruce, moss, cedar, and mint. I need more. That's going there. I might do Merry Christmas to me, honestly. And for Christmas, get myself um, a little bit of K's like I do for my birthday every year. My birthday is happy birthday to me with my K's order. Um, I need more blue spruce because I think that would be so nice on Christmas Day. I think my kids would really like it too because they love the icicles and evergreen. I always try to do what's going to make them happy. All right, now I'm going to go to samples. Um, one minute. Do I have them all? Oh, I finished on uh, uh, Axel's. I had this in Axel's room when I give her baths at night. Uh, Moonlight Path. So this was in her room and I finished this on, on her. Um, okay. I loved, I'm going to tell you, all my samples except two. Every sample I warmed, I would take in a loaf. Every sample I warmed, loved it. And I always do my samples in two places. My basement warmer, that when it's really good, it comes up the stairs. Every time you open the door, which I open that door 50 times. Or in a tea light in the kid's bathroom, because I don't want plugs in there. So I have a beautiful angel tea light. And every one I did except two, I would take in a loaf, loved. Today I have going Destination Grapefruit Mangosteen. It's strong citrus, grapefruit, and sweet tart. Okay, glasses. And sweet tart mangosteen and a hint of peach too. This is delicious. It was a little piece. It's going right now in the tea light in the bathroom. Love it. I'm going to put this here because I'm not putting in any orders, but... I will eventually again with Destination, and I, I will get more of that. That's year-round, year-round, 12 months a year. One that I was not impressed with, this is from last year, is Vintage Chic. Lovely Lydia Pumpkin Cider Cake. Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow Pumpkin Cider Cake. This I did in my kitchen tea light and hot plate. I cut it in half. And then blended, like, in my other warmers in my kitchen, I just put things that accompany it. And I kept going over to my tea light and my hot plate that are my two strongest performers in there. And I could hardly smell it. So that was a no for me. Then um, Traverse City Christmas Village. Oh, my God. This is soft florals, fir needle, orange, and clove. Loved it. Traverse City, Fraser Fur. I have three hearts all day, I wrote on it. Fraser Fur, next year, need more. Traverse City, I smell snow. This was so good. It's hints of orange, mango, and grapefruit with middle notes of cactus fir, balsam, pine, with clean notes of eucalyptus, wood, and amber. This is absolute 
repurchase. Love it. If I didn't have so much wax right now, I would request it, but I'm not requesting anything because I don't want to buy anything. Okay, then Winter Warlock from L3. Like I said, I'll tell you if I didn't love them because every single one I loved, so I'm not going to keep saying it. It's Otipose and Frostbite, and Otipose is Jet Puff Mallow, Fluffy Toasted Mallow. Did I say that all right? Um, yeah, Otipose is Jet Puff Mallow, Fluff Toasted Mallow, and Frostbite is Sparkling Berries, Peppermint, and I wrote very strong. So this is absolutely next year. I want more of this. This was so good. Uh, Snug in their beds. I love this one too. Snug in their beds. Vanilla lace, snuggle type, Fraser fur. Now I'm putting these in my reorder to uh, binder clip them with my want more. Then um, K's samples. Cabin in the woods, white pumpkin, amber fireside. And I wrote more with three hearts on my note. And I feel like I might might have had her cabin in the woods. I sent it to me in my last order samples. Witch's Wart, which I already went on and got more of after, after I've gotten more of this. It's pumpkin, pecan, waffles, candy corn, and coffee. This is fabulous. Like, I have two purple hearts on it. And I think I, I, think I still have a mini melter bag, but in case I don't, I'm putting it there. Her nutmeg and spice, I wrote, I put this in the bathroom with four hearts on it. I'm not big on nutmeg. I'm not big on spice, but I love Carla's. So good. Then I did two from Lavender and Speckles. Her berry, berry pie, three hearts on it. Absolutely would repurchase this. And Dragonfly Inn is not one I want more of, but I'm happy I tried it. It, it was okay. It wasn't a favorite of mine. And Dragonfly in Sea Salt, Sage, and Mint. I put this in the bathroom tea light. And this was good, just not a favorite. Rainbow Melts, Pomegranate Cider. This is hot cider with cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, pomegranate, and strawberry. Wrote more. Absolutely loved this so much. So it was like a big chunk sample. So I did half one day in the basement and the other half the next day. Both days. Just so, so good. It's going in my reorder. Then we had Melt Something Gifted to You as one of our prompts. So if you saw my random act of kindness on Thanksgiving morning, my friend Joanne sent me a big bag full of samples. So all three of these are from Joanne. And all three of them I loved. I case pumpkin souffle. Not all three of them. No, yes, I did love this one. Because I feel like there was a, a bathing garden I didn't like. But maybe that was last week, I'm thinking. Burnt banana brains. Burnt banana brains. I loved this so much. It was so good. And from Rose Girls, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Coastal kale, sea spray, leather, dirt, sage, bergamot, vanilla, and sandalwood. So loved all of them. I feel like there was another sample of one that I was just didn't, wasn't crazy about, but that was my gifted to you. All right, I'm going to do Rose Girls. Trying to finish up my 22 Rose Girls. I did a blizzard. Uh, uh, sorry, start again. Blizzard on the Star Express. Candy cane, eggnog, ice cream, marshmallow, caramel cheesecake, frosted sugar cookies. I wrote more with two hearts. Oh, I also did this holiday memory on the 22nd. And I wrote, this is life changing. That's what I wrote on my note. This is life changing. I got to show. Because this was like, what, 10 days ago? I don't remember. I wrote life changing on my note. That's how I'm even opening the bag. Love this. So I also did this on Holiday Memories. So this is a definite reorder next year. Um, I finished up Pumpkin Crunch Carbs. Absolutely loved it. Look at the bag. Oh, that was my dryer. Sorry for that beep. Then um, Haunted Library. I had to finish these bags. Look at them. 
So these are a year old. Haunted Library is suede rosewood leather, old library books, and fireplace. And um, I don't really feel like I need to put it in my reorder because I know now I'm out of it and I know I love it. So I um, definitely want more. I've purchased this several times, so I don't need to clog up my basket. I'll remember. Then I did um, pumpkin apple bath and body work type. And um, I wrote, this went four hours and it was done. So I did, I finished off two bags of pumpkin apple bath and body work type. But after four hours, I couldn't smell it anymore, which is fine. Can't love everything. Um, all right. On the first, no, the 21st, our prompt was to melt gingerbread. I don't have that much gingerbread, but I have vintage chic, her blossom bar. Don't ask me why I got a blossom bar when I'm not crazy about it, but I do. And I have Helene's. This was poured November of 21. Yeah, November of 21, so it's over two years old. So it is Helene's Gingerbread House Day. It's gooey batter, buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, buttery gingerbread, vanilla gingerbread, and a hint of sugared almonds. So I did this, and um, it was okay. Now, what I did was I wrote myself a note, and I'm putting it on the bag. I'm, I'm going to go back to this this month. I want to add vanilla to it, like Scentsy's Vanilla Cream. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna add vanilla to this and see if I like it better. I I didn't not like it. I just felt like I I don't know. I could get that that the spice of the gingerbread was just really all I was getting. So I'm like this needs something. So now I have add vanilla and I'm gonna leave it in my Christmas melting basket. Um. Sassy Girl, another gifted. So this is um, Roswell, and she sent me Santo Royale. I know a lot of people love this. I think I've had it before, and I had better performance. This one, I didn't. It's Paolo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Marshmallow, but I couldn't smell it. I don't know why. I even went out and walked separate, came back in thinking. I just couldn't. I, I literally, after two hours, changed out my wax. Um, then another one from Joanne, pumpkin pecan waffles from Destination Wax. Loved it. I don't think I've met a pumpkin pecan waffles I don't love. Um, here's the other sample I did. I knew there was another sample. Uh, from Vintage Chic, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. I wrote, look what I wrote on my little note. Zero. So this one in my kitchen on Thanksgiving morning in my tea late. And it is... Put sweet potato pie, marshmallow, and caramel cupcakes. This is from last year sample. Couldn't smell it. Um, Ava's poured February, no, poured July of 22 when she was still Ava's marshmallow pumpkin latte. There were four pumpkin faces. So I think this is it. I might have one more bag of this. I don't know, but I love it. And if I don't, um, I will get more next year in the fall. Okay, Thanksgiving was our cranberry day when I did that cranberry woods candle. And I think I got this from Carson. Uh, cranberry chutney from Yankee Candle. I think Carson sent me this. Then Carla, I just love her cranberry chutney. And um, it's just... Oh, man, this is so good. Carla's cranberry chutney. And this is coming from someone that's not a big cranberry fan, but I think cranberry chutney is one I love. And then I did a, and several times I've bought this. I did a custom with Carla like three, almost three years ago, right? 19 is when I started ordering from Carla. And I've done it and gone back and gotten more. Autumn flannel, cranberry oak, and cranberry zucchini bread. So that's my custom with probably cat or dog hair hanging from it. So this is a custom I did that I will absolutely get more of next year. Love that. So that was our cranberry Thanksgiving day. Then I was watching Kim from Kim Hart Organizing, and she was talking about Super Tarts Alfie and loved it. I'm like, I think I have that one. So I went right into my draw because I keep them all numeric. I keep my vendors 
each vendor separate and then in numerical order. So when I watch videos and someone loves something, I'm like, I might have that. Well, I did add two clams, so I still have one left. So happy, Kim, if you're watching. Oh my God, you made me pull this. I didn't even realize what's in it because I don't remember. It's marshmallows, candy canes, and Christmas cookies. I, I, I'm so happy that I that she said, talked about this because it's perfect for this time of year. And um, this was just... This was so, so good. I, this is one, I would take this in a large bag multiples. So good. Thank you, Kim. Then Super Tarts. On the 20th reminds, oh, this one I did too, reminds me of being a kid and I wrote my grandmother. So everything with us was baking. My grandmother and I would bake on the weekends. She taught me how to bake, she taught me how to cook, she taught me everything. And um, so I did Super Tarts, Grey's Anatomy, and Fake and Bake. And this is zucchini bread, sugar cookies, sweet cream, coffee, pecan pie, and vanilla ice cream. This is so, so good. And I finished up a clam of Harvest Baking. So this was, reminds you of being a kid day. And, oh, here's, I don't know why this fell out. Maybe because it was a mind you being a kid day. Santa's pajamas from Carla, from Kay's. It's autumn flannel, snickerdoodle, and pine cones. And I wrote more. I need more of this. I'm putting that there. Love that. I probably put stuck it in the bag because I did it that day. Remind you of being a kid. Oh, this is going to take me days to upload this because it takes so long to upload. Any video, it's longer than 10 minutes. I'm going to move fast. Okay, another one from Super Tarts I finished is Shepherd. It's good, but not a favorite. It's clementines, fresh balsam, strawberry, moss, and marshmallows. I know a lot of people love this one, and um, it's okay. I didn't get great performance from it. I wish it was stronger, but maybe it sat too long. Then, oh my God, this was this is a um, customer blend. Uh, um, the smell good shot. And I feel like Diane texts me of whose blend it is. I don't know, but it is so good. So I got it as a sample last year. And then I went on and I ordered it like in a, the big, with oh, the big bag. So, <clears throat> so this was on the 19th melt a chili scent. And I did this custom that is someone else's custom. I'm just, it's a customer blend. Frosted Juniper, Halle Berry, and Lemon Mint Leaf. I did on Melted Chili Scent Day. Okay, I'm putting this here because I'm going to want more of that someday. Um, second and Spruce, I have going in two of my warmers today. Her Apple Pie and Frosting. Love it. So this, they're two big, two big squares. So I want one into each warmer. And then I finished up because I started this like two weeks ago. It was her Lottie Da. All right. This is so good. I, I hope she offers this soon. It is espresso, brown sugar, pecans, pound cake, and zucchini bread poured September of 23. I kept hearing about her Lottie Da. So happy I got it. And um, was it a mini loaf? Yeah, it was a mini loaf. That's what this, she did a mini loaf pre-order. I love this Lottie Da. I want, I have to have more. I think it's very popular. So she will, I'm sure she offers it often. The apple pie and frosting. So before I started here, I went over to the two warmers that I put it in at like seven this morning. And um, it's, it's not strong. It wasn't strong for me. Maybe it needed to sit longer, but not a favorite apple pie or frosting. But I love the Lottie Da. Then uh, L3. Pumpkin pecan waffles, salty sea air. This was a bitty betty. Loved. I don't need to save this because I know I love both and I love that combination. Oh my God. This was a favorite pretzel, zucchini bread, brown sugar. This might have been like one of my absolute favorites at night. I did this like two nights in my room. So I took the trick tart. I'm calling it trick tart. You guys know what I mean. And I used it two nights in my room. And I might have another one of these. I don't know, but I love it. Um, okay. Goes there. All right, let's keep rolling. All right, another L3. Vanilla Balsam Sweet Lavender Buttermint. So 
I bought two loaves of this when I bought it because I'm like, oh, that's right up my alley. I bought two loaves. So last year around this time, I had cut into it like maybe a month after I got it. And I was so disappointed because it was light. Then I went over to my daughter's house because their house is tiny. And I did it in their warmers and it was still light. So I just brought it back home, put it back in the jaw. A year later, voila. It was so good. So it's vanilla, balsam, sweet, lavender, and buttermint. I wrote better after curing. I have a second loaf. And the peppermint is the top note and the balsam is in the background. So strange, right? Because balsam seems stronger than peppermint. But I mostly got the peppermint. And I did it in my open concept. I mostly got peppermint, but you got that balsam in the background. And it was almost like, like Kim says, you can walk in and you smell one note. An hour later, you're smelling another, but then the other note comes back. That's what this is like. You smell the balsam, then you smell the peppermint. Both loved, loved, loved. I have another whole loaf for this. And, um, oh, and I did this on the 27th. That was Cyber Monday. And it was free day, but melt whatever you want. And that's when I picked this. And it said, buy a vendor wax. Well, that was Monday, but that Saturday, that weekend, I did Teddy B's, RTS, and I did Salt Mountain Melt. So I did that. Um, warm and Toasty from Teddy B's. And Warm and Toasty is toasted pumpkins, a dash of spice, warm embers, tossed marshmallow, and a hint of mahogany vanilla poured October of 22. I have, I think a tub of this still, and I'm not complaining because this was, this was a medium, but you could smell it. So I did this in my kitchen and my dining room. So that's where this went and I could smell it most of the day. I think like after six hours, it really died down, but that's okay. I loved it. Um, then another one I really love, Teddy B's. That's from, I believe, last year, maybe even two years. Let me see what the date is. October of 22, so a year old. Her vanilla pumpkin sugar cookies, a blend of our signature sugar cookies, pumpkin pie spice, and vanilla cream. This was so good. Another day, I did this in my kitchen warmers. It was a souffle. And um, would I buy more? Maybe, but just another souffle like I did in the kitchen because definitely would get lost in open concept. And then I did pumpkin woods. I wanted to warm this before her RTS to see if I wanted more. So I put this in my tea light in my kitchen. And then I got probably, I don't know, my RTS isn't here yet. I know I ordered more, a tub or a loaf, don't remember. Lavender and speckles, I wrote more with three exclamations and a heart. Her Palo and tons of vanilla. So it's Palo Santo uh, and tons of vanilla bakery, vanilla crunch cake, vanilla buttercream, and a hint of cinnamon and spiced vanilla. Oh my God, this was so Beth. You definitely have a customer every anytime you pour this one. I loved it. Loved it. Palo and tons of vanilla. I might have gotten that because of Alexis. Then I finished Pharmacist Daughter After the Rain. It's fresh air, sage, pink sugar, and citrus. I love, love, love this. I love Pharmacist Daughter. Uh, I think she does like a beach house rain or something else. Any rain set I've had of hers, I love. Then on the 29th, it was Tree Up. If your tree is up, melt pine, not up, pumpkin. And I wrote... I am in between, like I told you guys earlier, I wrote, I am in between with a smiley face. So I did some pine and then I finished off Southbound's pumpkin pe pecan waffle pound cake. It's pumpkin pecan waffle blend with creamy vanilla pound cake. This was delicious. Absolutely loved it. It was such a pretty loaf. It was like a loaf and it had a waffle embedded on top of it of wax. So this is definitely like one... Yeah, this is going to go into my reorder next for next year. Very strong, went all day, and I loved it. Very, very, very good. Um, okay, Black Friday the 24th, um, Melt Retail. Okay, well, I had half on this one. I wrote, oh, my God, this is so good with a bunch of hearts. I think we were doing this last year, my daughter and I. 
Better Homes and Gardens Sugar Cookie and Buttercream. It's sugar cookies, buttercream, vanilla beans, orange zest, sugar crystal scent notes. Excellent. If you see this in Walmart or anywhere and you love bakery, get it. Don't hesitate. Get it. I have more and I'm so happy and I will keep buying this one. Loved it. One I don't love, didn't love it last year. Thought, okay, it sat for a year. Let me try it again. I, did, I disliked it as much as I did last year. White peppermint mocha from Better Homes and Garden. It's peppermint coffee, sugar cane, froth milk, whipped cream, and candy cane scent notes. Nope, not even a good performer. And what I can't smell, nothing that I would want more of. And then one last, I got done with berry waffle cone. L3 scoopable, so finished so good. I have like three more because if you know me, Berry Waffle Cone is one of my favorite Bath and Body Wear candles um, along with Summer Boardwalk at that time of year. But this is, so that's done, but I have more. And that's it, guys. One hour and 21 seconds. All right, I have another video to do, but that's not going up till during the week or maybe tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get this uploaded now, which will probably not be up till tomorrow. Because seriously, it takes so long to upload videos that are this long. Um, love you guys so much. Have a great week. And um, yeah, we are, we're all doing good at the Jersey Shore here. Everybody's been, uh, last week we did um, coat, coat, the coat drive. So we did coats, hats, scarves, gloves for the needy. So that was last week. This week we're doing toys for tots. So I got, we got that whole show going. And um, all right. Love you guys, and um, I'll see you back here. Bye.